Hello, everybody. Welcome to more Political Excess. Let's take a look at Rhode Island's redistricting. Now, Rhode Island does keep its two congressional districts. They very nearly almost lost a district. Both are held by Democrats. One of those is retiring, as James Langevin of the 2nd District. The process for redistricting was controlled by the legislator, and that is dominated by Democrats, and the Democratic governor, Dan McKee, signed off on the map. So what are the changes? Well, there's actually not a whole lot of change to this map. Both are heavily Democratic districts. The most competitive is the 2nd District. That is a D plus 17. That is going to be the open seat. I know in this kind of environment, that'll be a bit of a reach target for the Republicans, but I still think they have almost no chance of picking that up. So how fair is this map? Well, if you look at the last two cycles, statewide popular vote, Democrats averaged about 64.5% of the vote, and Republicans were under 30%. Now, some of that is due to a lot of independent vote in the 2020 House elections there. So I do think this is as good as it gets for the Republicans. I think a lot of the area of Providence and around there is split, and it's not very compact. Not a fan of that. But either way, I don't think that would change the partisan makeup of these districts. They will stay solidly Democratic for the next decade in all likelihood. I think even if there were three or four districts, it would just turn into another Connecticut or Massachusetts, as most of these Northeast states have trended toward the Democrats the last decade. So all in all, it's marginally a fair map, I suppose. Let me know what you think of the map. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next video.